Anya Forja is in math class and her teacher has called on her to answer the question. She proudly stands and announces that it's three thirds but the math teacher then tells her that that's completely wrong. Lloyd Forger and Handler have met up and the latter is asking the former if they can expect his daughter's grades to improve since HQ is planning around eight stellar stars in four months. Handler tells Lloyd that one of their informants was arrested at City Hall that morning and says that the enemy has been cracking down hard so he should be careful. Millie explains to Yor and Sharon that Jim Hayward was arrested today by the SS for espionage. Yor shows her a picture of her and Yuri and they both comment on how cute he is. An officer is interrogating Jim in the SS offices, asking him what documents he took from his office, the name and appearance of the person he handed him. Yuri then enters, saluting as the member greets him and saying he'll give the job his best shot, sitting down on a bench next to another member who promptly asks him why the boss let someone as young as Yuri on the team. The first member tells the second that it's because the boss said Yuri was cute like a puppy. Back in the interrogation room, Jim says that there's nothing to tell because the accusation is false, and Yuri produces two photos of Jim dealing the documents to another man which greatly shocks him. Yuri's face once again grows stern as he tells him he's been keeping his job a secret from his sister because he doesn't want her to know about this dirty work, then punching Jim into the table. Yuri loves his family and will do anything to protect the country she lives in. Anya turns to Lloyd and asks how many shots Bondman's pistol has on the show, and Lloyd replies that it should have eight when fully loaded, then looking at Anya in surprise as she calls out two eights when referring to the amount of bullets he has left. Yor then comes home, worriedly announcing that Yuri is coming over to visit that night to congratulate her on her marriage. She asks Lloyd what she should do and he replies that it's exactly the occasion they prepare the loving couple set for. As Yuri makes his way to their apartment, Yuri thinks that he will eradicate anyone that poses a threat to Yor, even if he's her spouse. Yuri arrives and the couple welcomes him, Lloyd and Yuri both hiding their shared dark looks. Yor arranges the flowers Yuri brought in a vase as he sits down in the living room, thanking him which prompts Yuri to then say that this doesn't mean he approves of Yor's marriage. Yuri asks his sister why she hasn't answered him, and Yor looks him straight in the eyes and says to her brother that she just forgot to tell him. Yuri asks Lloyd what he calls Yor, and he simply replies with just, Yor. Thinking that calling his sister by that name is the thing, a panicked Yuri asks Yor what she calls her husband, suggesting nicknames like, Lloydy, or, Loy Loy. Yor is too embarrassed to speak and Yuri assumes it is true, picking up the wine as he starts to drink. They talk about a restaurant called Kalpatia which is run by an old man, and Lloyd asks if the wine was also from Hudria. Lloyd hopes that it wasn't too expensive and Yuri says that it cost around 200. Lloyd, who had recognized and predicted Yuri's replies, reveals that the responses are from a manual used by Ostanian intelligence agents, he predicts is when Yuri was recruited by an intelligence agency. Yuri is stunned to hear this, drunkenly thinking that. Your comments on Yuri's clumsiness as she starts to wipe the table and Lloyd says he'll take care of it. The two brush hands and pull back in an awkward fashion. Yuri senses that something is wrong and demands to kiss Lloyd right now. Lloyd agrees to Yuri's demands and tells Yor that they will just do it like they always do. On the other hand, Yor is unprepared for her first kiss, blushing furiously as Lloyd moves in closer. Thanks for watching and subscribe the channel.